Hey everybody, Mr. Kaczynski with you, working on section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. In this video, it's going to be taking equations that are in standard form and finding their x and y intercepts. Very useful skill, especially once we start graphing these equations. All right, standard form of a linear equation, as a reminder, looks like this. Ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all integers. All right, and that's what we're given. So ax plus by equals c, where a is 3, b is 1, and c is 10. All right, so we're supposed to identify the y-intercept here. Well, to do that, all we have to do is basically ignore the x term, and you can see right there that y equals 10. And we're done. That's it. That's all you got to do. So... Um, this is the y-intercept because uh, the definition of y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. And if we put in 0 for x, 3 times 0 would be 0, and 0 plus y would be y, so y is 10. Pretty simple, right? Works here, too. Find the x-intercept. All right, well, that means we're letting y equal 0. 4 times 0 is 0, and x plus 0 is x. So x must be negative 7. The x-intercept is negative 7, or the point negative 7, 0. All right, well, it's not always that easy, because now we're going to find the y-intercept. <clears throat> All right, so we're basically getting rid of this term. 3y equals 3, so we're going to do y equals 3 over 3, which is 1. 3 divided by that 3. That's how you would solve that equation, by dividing both sides by 3. Let me show you again with an x-intercept. So we're going to let y equal 0. So now the x-intercept would be 12 over 6, because to solve that equation, 6x equals 6, or it equals 12, you would divide both sides by 6, so the x-intercept would be 2, or the point 2, 0. They don't always turn out integers, so here we're going to find the x and y-intercepts. Okay, the x-intercept would be, if we ignored this y term, we would just do negative 6 over 9. which is negative two-thirds. And the y-intercept, we would do negative six divided by negative seven. <clears throat> which simplifies to positive six-sevenths. One more, just like that one x-intercept. We're going to do negative 3 divided by the coefficient of x, which is 9. Negative 3 divided by the coefficient of x, which is 9. That simplifies to negative 1 third. The x-intercept is negative 1 third. And the y-intercept, we're going to do negative 3 divided by the coefficient of y, which is 2. So negative 3 over 2, or negative 3 halves. Negative 3 divided by 2. That's it. Like I said, useful skill because now we have two points and we could easily graph the line. That's coming up in the next video. Good luck on this one. Let me know how it goes.